Hi everyone. Um, just starting uh, the stream to showcase some uh, new mode that we added to Outward. Um, so for the first time, we're gonna play Outcore mode, and uh, I have no idea how this is gonna go, because at any time I die, there's a twenty percent chance that my save file will be deleted. So, hopefully this happens so that you can see my raging reaction. If you have any question, as always, feel free to ask us in uh, the chat room. Some of us are available to answer all your questions. I'm gonna randomize that. This could be a gym. There we go. He's already old, so it's not as tragic if he dies. Alright, I think that by this point, most of you are already familiar with the introduction. So we can get started. Get some light. I'm going to skip this area as quickly as possible so that I can get to something a bit more interesting. Oh, I do want the seaweed though. For obscure reasons that you will see later down the line. Okay, I got my seaweed. The bandage might be useful, especially in the current mode. There we go. Skipping the whole thing. Sleep one hour. Alright, sorry for those who wanted to see all the text. If you want to see the story intro and everything, there's a very simple way to do that. I recommend that you buy the game. It's currently on sale. 30% discount. It's the best time to buy it ever. You do that. Okay, my backpack. No longer need my torch in my hand. Move it to the bag. Not gonna need that. I'm gonna uncraft it because I want some linen scraps. There we go. A little bit of food might do some good. There we go. Three sixteen no scope. And of course, good old lantern. Excellent. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do something I've never done when I start. I'm gonna buy a two-handed sword. Is safe. If you yes, 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 you yes. Away with you. That's not what I'm here you for. Thank you. Yeah, you I know. Remember. Heavy oh, debts. Oh, right, that's new. <laughs> your ancestors watch over you. Yeah, previously attacking without a weapon did absolutely nothing, and now I can punch people and things. Okay, so I see there's a, a question regarding like what's the future plans for like either DLC, new projects. Of course, we have plans already, but. Um, for now, we're really focusing on what we can do to support Outward. Um, we're going to see first how the patch does once it goes live on consoles. There might be some post-patch patch that we're going to be working on. Um, we're not ready to announce anything regarding new titles and such. There's uh, If people saw what we announced uh, uh, yesterday, we sold like over 400,000 copies and that means that there's just so many options that are open to us for the first time ever. So um, 
we still kind of need to know what we're going to do with that success, in what direction we want to go. Uh, of course, we have many ideas, but nothing is confirmed yet. And I'm a bit privy to um, to announcing anything, any any of those ideas, because then we can create disappointment for doing something that we never committed. So, yeah, we, we just have to be very careful around that. Um, it's sad, but like I know most people could take that information and just find it like interesting. But there's always just that very small tidbit of the gaming population that just gets angry over anything and it's just not fun to handle so we got to be careful you know the saying this is not why we can't have nice things it, it applies please. all right all right i want to try buying a two-handed sword right from the start it's not that expensive anyway yeah excellent let's get started with that that's a respectable weapon right here. Oh, I'm gonna sh I'm gonna stop my cell phone because that's that might be annoying. Okay, so there's a uh, questions like what does the outcore mode involved, it's exactly the same game except for one thing, is that whenever you encounter a defeat scenario, aside from some story related defeat scenarios that are possible, you will always you always have a 20% chance of dying, and dying by that we means your character is deleted, you no longer have your save file, so you gotta be very careful. Um, do I need to buy anything else or am I good to go? Oh, I just need water. Time to get rich or die trying. Literally. Well, there's a question asking if we intend to add essentially what would be farming, the ability to grow crops and stuff like that. It's not planned at the moment. Um, maybe eventually if we make a DLC that could be included into it, but it's not a promise. It's a possibility. I think it would fit the 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 style of the game in, in some ways. So it's definitely worth considering. You teach me how to do pummel countering. Need something? Going outside. Well, you got the essentials. Yeah. There you go. Pummel counter. All Yay. Right. I feel comfortable letting you outside the walls. Use the door when you want to head out. Okay, what do, oh I wanted to switch my skills. Okay, pummel counter. I'm gonna put it right there. Here I'm gonna put my items that I wanna switch to. Water and uh my lantern. That should be fine. Oh right. That's no good. I'm not going to be good at dungeons until I get a better backpack. I guess I could pick up a few things and sell them to buy a better backpack. Because I can't hang my lantern on this bag, which is annoying. I want a better backpack. Um, so, yeah, this is something that's been requested a lot. Whether or not we are going to... Uh, increase the number of possibilities or the quality of the uh, customization when uh, creating a character and uh, it's not impossible but it's, un it's unlikely it, not because it's not relevant it's just a matter of prioritization and uh, yeah in terms of performance and everything where we've put our resource we just don't feel like this is where uh, we get the most value for how much it costs us to do um, because because we are such a small team. In general, when we're talking games like Is Skyrim or maybe? Mass Effect, they can literally allocate a full team to, okay, this is the team working on character creation for six months or something like that. It's really not something that applies to us. And also, if we increase the number of faces or 
body types or that kind of stuff. It would look really weird if those uh, same traits did not appear among the general population of the game. So we, we would have to revisit all the scenes to kind of add those new faces. If it's just new faces that only the character that is played by a character can have, it's, it looks also weird. So yeah, it's more work than people can imagine to do it. And we're just probably going to focus on other things. And it's for the same reason that we wouldn't add, say, an option to have beards on male characters and stuff like that, just because it's a lot of job and we would not and uh, like add all those beards to random characters in the in the world just to make it work. So, yeah, it's a uh, it's a difficult one, but we just need to accept that Outward was not set up to have that good character creation and move on to other features that are worth supporting because they're like I understand that you want to make a character that resembles you or that that you feel only you could make but at the end of the day you're gonna wear a, a helmet most of the time so you're not gonna see your character so we prefer we prefer adding custom armors and stuff like that than well not custom armor uh, uh, sets of armor and so you can customize your appearance through what you wear than changing your face that you will almost never see anyway. I don't think I'm gonna have enough yet. No, I don't. Oh, maybe if I sell this. Uh, mod tools would be... It's not impossible, but very expensive. So far, we... Oh man, I don't think we could do that for less than say a hundred thousand dollars. <laughs> so yeah, and, and we have no guarantee that people would be using those tools. Um, we we've seen people requesting them for sure, but yeah. it's not that we don't want to. It, I think it would be more worth it, and so it's more li likely that we would do that than say the character creation uh, additions. But it's still it's still a difficult one for us to do. Usually, the best way to go at it is if you planned modding right from the start. Um, and we're not like preventing, purposefully preventing people from modding the game. We just don't have once again like a separate team of tool programmers that would make those tools and stuff like that. So yeah, um, it's a it's a we'll see, but it's very unlikely boring type of answer for that question. Okay, do I have enough now to buy my bag? I think I do. By the way, don't do what I say, not what I do. You shouldn't be sprinting all the time because I'm burning my stamina. But I know it's kind of boring to see me walking around like this. Yay, I can get what I want. Finally. And I'm good to go. Now I got my lantern. Oops. Alright, so I can drop this, I don't need it. Bye bye. And I'm off. Let's go find Michelle. Hopefully I can find leather quickly because I want a leather coat. Better defense than scrappy clothes. Don't need that. That I can throw as a grenade. Oh, I should prepare that. Yes, the game was made uh, with Unity. What else do I need in there? Nothing else. Oh, the fishing harpoon could be useful. I still have room in my bag. Oh, by the way, something that most people don't know, if you are looking at the in a container and you open up your inventory, all well in, you can switch things from whichever container you're checking and your inventory. I think almost no one knows that. 
And yeah, I do have enough room for this. If you see me dodging for no reason, it's because I haven't played in a while, to be honest. It's been mostly tested by other people, and I keep just pushing the left bumper for no reason. Hi. Not even dropping my backpack, because I won't need it, because you suck, because you're a troglodyte. your mushrooms but I want oil do you have oil yes got oil that's all that matters what was my favorite thing to work on uh, during the development of this game oh uh, definitely the skill system just and more precisely, coming up with the idea of uh, ritual spell casting. And that's something that, I even during production, yeah, I was very protective of not letting that aspect of the game design go to anyone else. Um, and I would say sometimes I even kind of bottlenecked the production, but I had such a precise idea of what I wanted to do with it. And uh, I knew that explaining like what I wanted to do and why would take more time than just doing the design documentation um, once I would get around to doing it. Oh, okay. I, I feel like being stupid. Oh, it's, it's already spotted me. God damn it. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I'm, I just need to be careful. I will get back to answer the question once that big dude here is no longer in the way. That's exactly why I wanted my seaweed. If you mix linen scraps with seaweed, you get a magical ice rag. And those guys, they hate it. They hate being cold. They shouldn't be ever in Quebec City because they would hate it. Okay, I'm gonna get some water to make sure my stamina replenishes a bit more quickly. And let's try to not suck. And if I die, there's a very good chance that it's forever. No! Alright, alright, alright. Oh, you got me. Alright, staggered. Oh, come on, die. There we go. That could have gone worse. Excellent. So, yeah, I really wanted to uh, to do the, the skills. And my, the main point was I wanted everything to be separate. Uh, everything to feel like a step into a larger process. And I wanted that to apply not, on, not only to magic, but also to physical skills. And the... Um, yeah, it, it, it was part of a larger vision where I thought, okay, if we want to make the experience feels a bit more real, we would need to um, to split every action to more steps. And the skills were just the most pure application of that idea. And yeah, that's what I preferred. Oh, I used up the bandage I needed for him. I can't. Right. Oh. I can't move. A pistol okay. shrimp. Here's your bandage. I can feel it working. You're saved. Thanks a bunch. And Ow. I no longer oh. owe money. Don't think I'm fit to run back home just yet. Cause I'm so cool. Alright, so now I need a mean to refill my health. I think I have... I, I could sleep, but 
not want to waste the time. And I'm currently... Uh, this neg negative effect confusion means that I receive way more impact than what I normally would. But that will be gone soon. So yeah. Maybe if I eat a good meal, I can replenish my health. Oh, there we go. Yeah, yeah. It's time for per bacon. There we go. <laughs> Excellent. I got stuff to eat, but I need to cook it first. Ah, I. Okay, I really hate the bumper on the Microsoft, uh, con the, the Xbox One controller. I miss the Xbox 360 one. Please don't hate me, Microsoft, for saying that. Yay, I got tea. How does co-op works with hardcore mode? Very simple. If you're not playing in a hardcore mode yourself, you can't join a player who's playing a hardcore character. So it's a bit like the hardcore servers being separated uh, when you were playing Diablo 2, for instance. Oh, mofos. I don't want to deal with two of them with only half my health, even though I know it should be easy, because there's a risk that if I die, it's for real. I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do this, this, and that. Yep. And I don't have any bandages right now, but I can go make campfire and eat some meat not too far from them. Careful, careful. And you're thinking. Guillaume, you're such a coward! Well, wouldn't you be if you were about to face two hyenas with rocks as plates on their backs and stuff? I want the meat. Thank you very much. Now I'm healing a bit over time. And more meat. And some eggs. Alright. Good to go. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna burn them. I'm gonna be one savage mofo. And burn them. Is my... Huh. There we go. I'm gonna drop my bag. Because I'm gonna wanna jump. Oh, you saw me? I saw you too. I wanna get... Both of them at the same time. I don't know if I will be able to do that. Alright, should be close enough. God damn it. Closer! Yes! Uh, that didn't work so well. Okay, I, I don't need to care too much about the one that's on fire. Because it's probably gonna die over time. Or get pretty close. Wait. Bird! You're not relevant right now. Oh shit, missed my counter. That was noobish. <laughs> Excellent, thank you bird. I love you bird. You're the best bird ever. Thank you for dying. That went well. And no illness to speak of. Excellent. Full of meat. I'm gonna sell some of it. I'm a happy camper. There we go. That should do it. And there we go. We can go back home and move on to the next objective, which would be. I don't know. Hell Marsh. Yeah. Hey there. How are you going? How are you doing, buddy? I wish I still had a bird pal. There we go. 
Oh wait, I do have a bird pal. How could I forget about my bird pal? Here's my bird pal. Yes. I got a bird pal. I'm happy. This is perfect. Okay, so... Wait, what was it? This is a good way, I think. Is it? Okay, so the, the someone asked the question if there could be something that makes the chance of permadeath being like 100%. And the truth of it is, we don't feel like it would work in Outward. Because, one some of the deaths can sometimes feel like they could never have been prevented. Um, usually not true, but still the way it feels could just create a very, very frustrating experience. But also because part of the content of the game are the defeat scenarios themselves. So it just feels like there are things that just can't happen anymore because of choosing hardcore mode. Maybe we could like have a slider that increase the chance of dying permanently, but honestly, the tension of not knowing whether or not it's happening, I feel is quite enough. Um, but that's that's something worth investigating, because I don't think it would be that difficult to implement. But it does involve extra UI, and people would be surprised like how hard it is to add UI stuff. It, it, it's just like, y you could have a harder time moving a button on the screen than, I don't know, creating a new set of fighting animation purely from a coding perspective so yeah it's one thing that people underestimate a lot developers themselves being probably the worst of it um, so we have to be careful also whenever we add menus and stuff like that it has to be translated in now like 11 different languages I don't I don't want to fight you guys you got an archer that's not fair I'm gonna I'm gonna pretend I'm scared of you and get away or do I no or do I? No, no, no. I don't need to. But at the same time, but I have no reason to do it. I'm gonna do it. Okay. Oh, I'm definitely gonna need to drink some water at least. There we go. That should be good for my stamina, I think. Yes. Okay, so I got two things that increase my stamina. Yeah, 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 I'm, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that just before starting the fight. Gotta be reasonable. If I remember right, that's the recipe. Yes, okay, I got my coat. So now I got some defense, I'm ready. I'm gonna focus on the archer first and then And then kill that guy using, hopefully, the pummel counter, because it's satisfying. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Leroy Jenkins. Ah, of course you dodge. Ow. Okay, okay. That's, that's definitely not how I wanted it to happen. Thank you, Pearlbird, for helping me with a morale boost. Hmm. I just want my bag. I'm not gonna... Oh, of course you... Phew. <laughs> I'm off. Bye-bye. Okay, so uh, the question being how um, how feasible it is to add more big encounters with lots of characters involved at the same time. And it's almost impossible, especially in outdoor areas. If it's in a controlled environment where everything is planned for it, 
it can work out, but out in the open for performance and technical reasons, it's just not something we're ever going to do in outward. Um, there, there's just the game was just not made to be able to support that. If we could add more things, we would. Um, but essentially, it was one of the trade-off of making the game playable in co-op was that we don't stream anything; we just load it all up in the, in the RAM. And um, also, because we are such a small team, we had eventually to just clamp down on the technology. Um, and stop updating it and just focus on completing the game so many of the things how they were done in the game are kind of late like we're late in technology and that just gives us uh, less wiggle room to do things that are resource intensive like big confrontations with multiple npcs all at the same time more feasible in dungeons but once again it has to be planned in advance yo risa greetings how go your efforts I want to talk about my blood price. You have a way to make that payment, and yep. on time. Well, Oliel and Izan are. Oliel is leaving to go join the oh. Holy as Will we all? Oliel. A blood price has been declared upon his no, bloodline. Oh, Izan. Oh, this roll is troubling. <laughs> hmm. This is unacceptable. This is the comeback once you've said your goodbyes to them. Uh, the question being, uh, if you can jump? Nope. It's just not a game about jumping. I'm gonna need to sleep soon, or at least repair my stuff. Mm, berries. I don't have anything worthwhile to sell. I'm gonna destroy my boots. Fuck you, boots. Okay, I can sell a few things. I'm. Greetings, friend. Yo. I would like to buy that hat. I also need enough money to sleep. Oh, I can sleep in my house because I don't. I didn't lose it. <laughs> Those sells relatively well, and I don't feel like I need them at the moment. They're super good, by the way. Don't underestimate the advantage of those larva eggs. Okay, that sells well. Iron scrap is easy to get at all time, anyway. Grab I seed. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that. Need to refill my water. Yeah, okay. I'm so rich, I got 30 silvers. Hear that bird? Got 30 silvers. are gather water drink water I'm gonna rest a little bit to repair my stuff hey Izan I, I heard that you're giving up on all of us I take it you've heard the news come to see your old pal off I've got the heroic king listen make me this entire note so aggressive of duty is oppressive <laughs> at its core We'll go by ocean as far as my friend. All if, right. if you have the courage to face the Abrasar Desert, I'll be waiting for you. No, I'm a religious zealot, obviously. Right, Oliel? I guess this is goodbye. I'm leaving this place. I'll miss it too. Risa has. All right? Listen. I'll Excellent. think about it. The holy mission is about have discipline. Hmm. Yep, if you yep, do yep, want yep. to jump once in the marsh, follow the pilgrim road. There we go. And now going back to Risa, who's gonna be saying like, "Oh, you should be my son." And I'm like, "Have you seen my face? Do it look like you're my mom?" And then there will be a moment of awkward silence, and we'll move on. Yo, mom. There you are. Urgent news just came in. This is. I'm going to Berg. You I have to go to Berg. Blah blah blue. blue. Well, it's your your life. I you have will a need choice. Listen well. 
Okay, so normally we would have kept that information like up for players to discover, but uh, it's been asked like how many new bosses were added, and it's already all on the wiki, I think. So I'm just gonna say 12 new bosses, so um, three per region. And I don't feel like I'm fully geared to do that at the moment with this. Um, you can't uh, find those boss fights until you've completed the game. Uh, well, the, the story. Alright. Sleeping. Night, night. Two hours of sleep should be enough. Maybe three. I'm gonna repair my stuff until it's day. Boom. And I'm up and I'm gonna pretend I'm ready to go in the marshes. Normally, I would not recommend going to the marsh until you have at least proper armor and like a helmet, but I feel like being stupid and taking risks so that there's a higher chance that I die for no good reason. And then I'm thinking, hmm, I shouldn't have done that. I keep doing the dodge. It's all my fault. Actually, before going to the marsh, I should just make a little bit more money. Possibly by killing the two bandits outside. Because I want to buy the skill there's a, uh, sold by Eto Akiyuki, um, the trainer. It's a plus 25 permanent to max life. And given how hard hardcore can be punishing, extra life can't hurt. Okay, are the bandits still around? That's the first question. They should be normally. Is that them? No, that's a fence. Okay. I'm still not sure if they despawn or if they're still around and waiting to kill me. Mm -mm -mm. All right. Looks like it's safe. Alright. Hi there, doggo. Oh, he's in pain. Excellent. You can tell by the effects on him. That means he's taking 25% extra damage. Boom. Predator bones. Ooh. That makes me think maybe I should try and find more of that. I'm not running after him. That's gonna take forever. Stability potion, yes please. Silver, definitely. Fishing harpoon, don't care. Where's there's blood, there's adventure. Okay. <sighs> okay, hey dude, I want your bones. Bones are useful to me. Please give them. Share your bones. You got more than enough. Give them to me. Mm. Not very aggressive. There we go. I have enough. I don't remember the exact recipe. I think I need two. There's usually a bunch of hyenas right here so that I can get a fang sword. Well, fang claymore. Oh, what's up with that? It's not good. I haven't seen that often. 
Okay, three of them. I'm at full health. I'm rested. Gotta drink some water. Eat some food just to be sure. Oh, maybe not. Okay, I'm gonna start with you. Ow, I got a bite. But no infected wound. That's good. Kick in the face. I wish I could kick a Aina in the face. But not deal with the aftermath of doing that. Okay, okay. God damn it. There we go. You died. Now I should have the bones I need. Bones! Yes. Bones! Even more, yes. And no bones. Boo. Okay, so if I remember correctly, the recipe is the weapon, linen scraps, and two bones. With, along with the weapon. Wait, I can't mix the... Okay. So is that how it works? Should have bought the recipe. Yeah, I think that's the recipe. Woohoo! There we go. New weapon. You are all jealous, as you should be. And I've got even some extra to make money. Good. And if I'm lucky in there, maybe I'm gonna find a better armor or at least a helmet. Let's see how that goes. Um, oh, I'm gonna eat the meat. Oh, and I've got a nice amount of fur to sell. Let's go. I admit that I'm a bit, like, self-conscious. If I lose, I... As a developer, super early in the game, it doesn't look very well. So far, so good though. Man, it's really easy to handle a faster weapon. Makes a big difference. You, you're the one I was looking for. Uh, that's my helmet, I guess. Cold stone, yes please. Poison rag, I don't see why not. Mineral tea can be very useful. And an extra lantern I don't need, otherwise called a grenade. There we go, excellent. Oh, I think I can make a, a, a crappy hat out of my veil thingy. I think I can. It's just like this and that, right? Yep. Ugly hat for an ugly face. There we go. Actually, it looked like Dick Tracy that had a rough patch. I guess. I guess I'm at a point where I feel comfortable going in the marshes and fight the steak monsters. Uh, once again, not what I wanted to do. Oh, right, I wanted to buy the skill too. Almost forgot a second time. Huh. 
<laughs> Funny that someone asked who designed the, the magic system. As I said, that was the thing that I actually liked working on the most. Um, I was the creative lead and did most of the game design uh, on the game. The, the systems that I did not work on were uh, mostly temperature, um, the food, like the, the actual qual qualities that goes into the different meals, um, some aspect of uh, resting, and uh, yeah, a, f a few more systems, but most of the what it relates to the progression, the loot, and the um, and the skills uh, were handled by me. Here I am. Oh yeah, and something that a lot of people did not notice until I told them on Discord a few days ago. When you shoot your weapon, you're actually going faster. You can see the difference. It's a 12.5% difference in speed. So far, so good. One hour of not dying should be doable. Greetings, friend. <laughs> well, I'm not worried about dying at all. Why would I be worried? <laughs> yeah, I know, it wouldn't look really good. Okay, a little bit more money. Should be enough to buy the skill I want. Don't worry, Sierzo. I'm gonna come back for you guys. It's not as if you were all angry at me for being through a shipwreck while having a sucky life. Eto, my man. Amber, my friend. I don't want to talk, I want to train. Fitness, yes please, that's what I want. And I'm once again out of cash. But I don't care, because I can live for longer. I wonder if on my way to there, I'm going to encounter a place where like a legacy, legacy, uh, how do you say that in English? Legacy. I'm not going near any legacy chest. Nope. That's another thing that we changed. And I'm not going to tell you too much about it, but let's just say the sword I have is fun to place in a legacy chest. Now, let's go see those religious zealots. Actually, they're not zealots. They're pretty chill people. Okay. Another bird. I feel like I've killed them all. And another bird. Yo, bird. It's you and me. Got a problem with me? I got a problem with you. <laughs> Don't worry, smaller bird. I got no problem with you. And let's go. Somewhere more dangerous, where I'm more likely to die. Especially when under equipped with no skills. Almost. Hey, bird. Maybe maybe that's something we should do like a gacha system with small pets that you can buy and you don't know which one you get. I hate that kind of monetization scheme. <laughs> maybe that means I should do it for the monies. And yet I think I won't. <gasps> yes! That one looks way cooler. I want it. 
that's the hat I want. You are all jelly of my hat. I don't have any scraps now. I guess I could try and poison it and be defensive. Because there's a chance that they drop blue sand, which is good. Sells for a lot. Oh well. Yay! Getting into the pink. Mountain. If I do get to Monsoon in time, then... Mm. Oh! It's payback. it was so easy to get the larger the the largest backpack was um, because of a bug it was not supposed to be that easy to uh, to obtain you needed to have um, what's the item again the power coil but there was a way to skip that step and that made it way easier there's still technically a chance of having a power coil because you're lucky and find it at a supply stash and that's that's fine like we're okay with someone being super lucky and making the most of it but yeah the, the thing where you could initiate dialogue with a part of a gate that went through a roof was not intended obviously I'm gonna drink some water and then I'm gonna kill them I don't like you you don't like me, it's equal opportunity. Oh, really? Should have done that with a guy with range on his weapon. Ow. Careful, man. Okay, one is bleeding. Oh, both of them are bleeding. Easy go. I'm gonna kick you. As promised. There you go. Uh -huh, you can dodge. I'm so impressed by your dodge, man. There. You down. <laughs> I should make some tripwire traps. I'm gonna agree with anyone who says positive things about the music in Outward. Okay. Um, where was I going? There it is. Okay. I need to go east of that mountain. So I wanna go here. And I'm about here. I don't know if I'm going to be happy or disappointed that I don't die. I feel like that's what people want. People like seeing me fail. It's more entertaining, I guess. And I don't know if I want to give you the pleasure of seeing me die. I guess I should be taking more stupid risks. Oh. By the way, alpha meat is pretty rare. I should cook it. Or I think I can make the sandwich with it. Yeah. Oh, but I don't have a cooking pot. God damn it. So I should cook it before leaving t for the Hallow Marsh. Because it could go... It could turn on the way there. Gather the wood. There we go. Is there any trip or a trap? in there. Would be cool. Oh, there we go. 
No, only the spikes. And I don't care so much about the spikes. Oh well. Oh yeah, there's a guy there. That's dead. So he doesn't need his stuff. Yo, dude. What you got? I wonder if I can... Hmm. Can I destroy the sandals? Yes, I can. Somehow, the soles of my sandals are used to make linen scraps. Of course I know about Fable. Was Fable an inspiration? Not really. I mean, we knew of it. Um, in some aspects, maybe for the colors and things, but that's more of a artistic direction question. Um, but, I mean, we are inspired by RPGs in general. We have a very wide catalog of experiences among the team. But no, I wouldn't say that it was one of the uh, main inspirations, aside from just the feeling of freedom and uh, having lots to explore. I, I was a big fan of Fable, and I think it's a, it's a real shame that Lionhead was shut down after being forced to do something that nobody ever asked, which was to make a Fable MOBA. I mean, that was a very sad decision. Uh, they wasted a world essentially that was really great but the one thing I always disliked about Fable even though I played them like all three of them a lot is that there's literally zero challenge and uh, I guess in that sense yeah it was an inspiration because it was one of the most uh, archetypical example of RPGs offerings no challenge like you, you can make so many choices in Fable, but in the end, you can just move forward and spam attack and kill anything. But I really do mean anything without any kind of effort, and that's that's regrettable because then it devalues every choice you're making because it feels like none of them really matter. And I know it's such a cliche to talk about consequential cha choices and stuff, but it's true, it's what people are looking for. Okay, poisonous blade that inflicts bleeding should be a good strategy. Gonna drink water to refill my stamina faster because I'm burnt already a little bit. My health is not that high, so maybe I'm gonna die in a dumb way fighting this thing. Yo! How are you doing, man? Okay, it's bleeding and poisoned. That's good. Oh! It's not going fast enough. There. Let me help you die. Mm. No, bird. I don't, I don't want you to be here, bird. I think I can... I could go cheap and just... Let him die. Slowly but surely. Why is the bird not helping? Bird, help me. Kill him. Okay, I really wish we had a jumping attack right now. I'm gonna admit. <laughs> Psych! That went well. I have more health than when I started a fight. Money. Thank you, bird. Fishies. Azure shrimp and seaweed. Right next to seaweed. I can almost make sushis. Or rather, ceviche. Yo, fish. Come here. Rainbow Trout. I 
I just need salt now. And this is giving me clean water, isn't it? River water. I'm gonna gather it. No, not drink it. God damn it. I could have could have got myself some illness from drinking it without boiling it. I'm gonna boil the water just gathered now. Cause I'm not the dumbs. Or I'd like to think I'm not. And there we go. I like you a lot too, Raleen. <laughs> okay, river water. Oh, it's clean water that I got in there. Huh, okay. So I need salt for my ceviche, I think. That's the recipe, right? Um, oh, but I don't have a cooking pot anyway. No ceviche for Guillaume. Let's get to the marsh where the music is even better than in here. In my personal opinion. The marsh region has the best music. And one of the most sad thing that ever happened was that we have one song that's really really good that did not make it into the game because we had to cut a region that that is a tragedy because Jean-Francois Racine the composer is a genius and all of his music should be listened by everyone all the time you guys need to be poisoned in the face because you suck you think you can eat me or something Oh, boy. There we go. One counter that worked. No, there's no, there, there's no extra region. I'm just saying we had to cut a region in production for which we already had the song. So... Yeah, we never used the music that was done for that region because it didn't make it into the game. And it was a tragedy because I really liked it a lot. Okay, okay. Don't have a lot of stamina. He's not poisoned yet, right? He's not. Didn't attack him fast enough. There we go. Easy peasy. I don't care about you guys. You kind of suck. I don't want to bow. Is that better than mine? It is, but it's not as cool. Hmm. Yep, yep, we're switching region right away after I got the bandage that I needed. Excellent. There we go. Let's be crazy. Elmarsh. I really like this new addition of seeing the maps of uh, the travel. It gives more, um, makes the, the area feels more real. You kind of, it exists because there's a world map. Alright, music, I want to hear you. I did not mean to do that. I meant to do just that. Apply. Yes. Okay, so now the trick to get to Monsoon, the city in this area, is just to follow these small uh, monuments and can see them because of their circle of glowstone so we can go that direction thank you for not being hostile uh, 
there we go. And there's the next one right here. Oh, and also, those are fireflies. They're really good at uh, generating light, so if you don't have a lantern, it can be a good idea because you really don't know where you're going. But the thing is, enemies see you from much farther away if you got them all around you. Small subtle difference, everybody aggroes you. Well, not aggroes you, but sees you. They are not aggressive, so I don't think they'll be causing me any problem. And one thing you can do with those is when you find those flowers on the ground and you got a fireflies there you go happy lunch I love that thank you very much okay let's keep going let's get to good old monsoon That one is aggressive, I think, so I've got to be careful. Yeah, when they have the flowers on their back, they're aggressive. I'm in no position to fight that one with my current gear. No! Stop walking in this direction. Look somewhere else! Hate you. This is probably going to be unimportant in this save file because I don't really intend to become a mage, but I'm going to activate it anyway. Yeah, this game is going really well so far. Didn't even get close to dying except that one time with the bandits when I was being stupid. Okay, I always l lose sight of where is the next one once I find it. Where is it? There it is. Okay. You think I'd know all the maps by heart by now? I mean, I played the games for hundreds of hours, but no. Too dumb. <laughs> Live with the super good plant. Way too rare. Is it the same one, or am I just unlucky and there's two of them in a row? Yeah, I go with unlucky. What can I do about that? Yeah, I know what I'm going to do about that. I'm going to be dumb. I'm going to be dumb because it's time to be dumb. Wait, where's my oil? I had some. Oh, that's what I picked. I need the linen. There we go. Fire rag. Because those guys are plants. Plants don't like burning. Oh, but I don't have enough stamina. I don't want to. Oh, god damn it. And I'm not well rested either. I'm uh there's dumb and then there's dumb dumb. I'm gonna skip it. Sorry guys. I'm boring. I wanna live. At least I'm showing people how to play the game correctly, which is don't jump into every fight like some kind of crazed berserker. Unless you got the Tsar armor and World Edge, which is an amazing axe then maybe you can kind of go berserk. Oh, drinking tea. Yeah, of course. Now I lost my excuse for not fighting. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. I'm going to I'm going to do it. God damn it. This is going to suck. Like I don't I don't feel ready for that at all. This is a better helm, so I'm going to wear it. Instead of my cool hat, because this is all your fault, guys. I'm gonna switch those to my pocket. Wait, where is it? Not. 
Move to pocket, please. You too, move to pocket. Now, now, now. Okay. What do I eat? I got my meat. It's true. If if I get the right defeat scenario, I could end up having a fast travel to to the town. Okay, maybe if I eat my raw alpha meat, which I forgot to cook, so I'm really grateful that it worked out in the end. Okay, okay, let's go, let's go. Choo -choo -choo. Yes. Cook that raw meat. Right here. Boom. I eat it. And I drink water. Where's my water? It's right here. Just moved it because I'm smart. And then weapon on fire. Let's see how this goes. Where's the dude? Where is the dude who deserves to die for existing? There he is. Should have waited a little bit before getting my weapon on fire. Oh, of course you're walking in poison. Of course, man. That's that's not cool. There was like it would have it would have been a very epic fight, and, and would have been so close to dying, but I would not, and there would be like crazy Gaia theme song that would have started playing. But nope, I'm not going inside a lake of poison without appropriate gear. Now I kind of psyched myself down. Oh well, let's get to monsoon while listening to Kick-Ass Soundtrack. Oh, whoops. Got too close. You guys, tell me if you see the flower, because now they all want to grow my face. Still dodging for no reason. I really think by this point I can blame my controller so that I feel better about myself. Where is the flower? There has to be one close. Oh, of course. Oh yeah, the flower is there. Okay, good, good, good. Because that guy, that guy might want me dead. And my sword is no longer on fire. Thank you very much. Is that a captain or just a regular bandit? It's it's two bandits. It's not a captain. If I kill them, I make a lot of money. If they kill me, I might lose my save file. Hmm. Hmm. And I no longer have... Oh, I could... I could make some poisonous rag. Humans are weak to poison, by the way. Except that those are not, because in Monsoon, they usually wear a type of armor that's resistant to, to poison. So I guess I'm just going to avoid that fight. Don't have anything to give me an extra kick. I used up my alpha meat, although I still have my rage. But rage on a two-handed sword is not necessarily the most important thing, because swords don't have that good impact. Okay, too bad. I want to get to Monsoon. I'm going to get to that city or town or village. Okay, need to be careful with my stamina. So this is the point where I'm starting to get so close to my destination that of course I'm more likely to die. But now that I said it, it won't happen because it would have made me right. But now that I said that, it reversed.
Okay, okay, okay. Almost there. Almost there. I can smell it. I can smell the swamp. I'm almost there. I won't have a lot to sell though. I just want to get there quickly but surely. Yes, almost, almost. One thing I'm really puzzled about is we did not encounter any Stegosaurus. And I wonder why. Usually they're kind of com common in this area. Only encountered bandits. So you might think that's the only type of enemy, and it's not. <sighs> Who made that crappy game? Only bandits. Dez must be so lazy. Alright. Here we are. And the boat is waiting. Good old me. Yes, finally. Hi, man. My favorite region? Yeah, the marsh. The marsh is my favorite region. And in no small part because of the music. But also I like that it looks more alive during the night because of the uh, luminescence from the plants. I like the contrast of big shiny colors over a darker background that's like this right now this just looks gorgeous to me and it's my friend Oliel who's like all fancy and can create a runic lantern good to see you I've joined the holy mission well you did so pretty f quick because I must have been just behind you, girl. Have you given my previous words any thought? Yeah, if you choose I'm to joining. Join us, you should speak with Doing Cardinal it for Bolder. you, Alyel. Oh, that music. Is there something you need? Not doing so bad in terms of money. I don't need those for now. I don't have any traps to fill those with. Mm. My trout is gonna go bad, so I might as well sell it. It's taking space in the inventory anyway. Turkey is good. I guess firefly powder. I picked it up because I like doing it, but I have nothing to do with it at the moment. That I know they're good for alchemy, so I'm gonna keep them. I'm filthy rich. I got a hundred silvers. Oh yeah, I need my lantern. Okay. Heading into the temple of our old pal Elat. Coolest god that ever was. Because he doesn't suck. And he exists. Yo! Cardinal Borlamac. of Elat upon you. Joining the holy mission of Elat is to serve El and never forget the scope. This is your task. Listen yes. well. I'm gonna join. And Risa is going to be disappointed. Because I don't look like I have the face of being her son. Where's my fat again? Okay, he's there. Dave Woody. Thank you very much. That's Dam Damien Lockwell's house. Can I... 
can't go south from there, right? Yes, I can. Okay, good. Where are you, Moffat? There he is. Hey, man. You speak up a bit, hey? I knew a lot before he was a grown man. So that dude is old. Bolamac sent you to help me, didn't he? Uh, good timing, too. Oh, I shouldn't have sold the firefly powder. God damn it. You know how to get firefly powder. Yes, I know. The natural way, right? And I want... Oh, wait. God damn it. Don't want your skill. Okay, I need to get back the firefly powder. I feel dumb. So for how long have I been playing already? Because I... Yeah, it's been a while. I'm gonna play for maybe 10 more minutes, so if you have any questions, now's the time. Uh, making myself available, so ask away. Hmm. Oh yeah, the uh, it's official. The patch is now out on the main Steam branch. It's also released on the uh, Epic Game Store, and um, also the the patch will be released on consoles. Like we're talking two, three weeks from now, and we're gonna add a new build on the experimental branch pretty soon. Um, that time around, it won't be a content patch. It's more about optimization, uh, updating the, the the Unity version that we're using. Um, that could fix some issues that a few computers had, uh, especially those with very very high-end processors. They had uh, sometimes some some um, stuttering issue, and we think that by updating the technology, it might stop that bug from occurring for more hardware. Um, and we're definitely going to need help regarding that. It's also going to um, make items take less space when, uh, so that when you load an area, especially if you've like placed so many items in your stash, it has to load all of those items during loading. And sometimes people would take, I don't know, five minutes to load uh, a village because they dropped all the, everything, every item they found in that area. Um, that should be less of a problem on the next experimental branch to come on Steam. Uh, so yeah, just stay tuned if you look into the um, the community hub forums. Huh, is it is he aggro? Yeah, he is. How many people work on the game? I'm very proud to say we were pretty much always between 8 and 10 working on the game. At, at our highest point, we were 11. There you go, man. You're down. I don't hate you. I hate you. Um, yeah, I don't remember why we cannot, there's a, I think it's a design reason, but, oh, he's gonna flee, but I want him to die, but I have no stamina, god damn it, you're smarter than me, you're gonna survive, fuck, uh, yeah, so, uh, deconstructing the, the, the campfires, yeah, I agree, especially since they never go away in towns, we need to do something about that, I agree, um, we're gonna look it up, um, one thing we've been, we've been thinking about is changing a bit how the stashes work and make the town areas reset like the uh, outdoor regions. Um, and so that that's stuff that could be done in a future patch uh, uh, as we go along. But it's, it's more technical and complicated than it should be. So yeah, 
I, I can't make any promise like and say it's gonna be solved in the next patch. It's probably not, but hopefully soon enough. And I think I saw some fireflies, and I just need to spot a flower. Oh, damn it! All right, sure, go ahead. There it is. That's the flower. And still no stegosaurus. I want my steak dinosaurs. There we go. Boom. I got firefly powder. So that mofat dude should be happy with me. I'm gonna need to rest soon because my stamina is burnt as always. Okay, I have no clue where I am. Okay, I need to go there. Follow the light, that's the trick. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And I still have not died, which is boring for you guys. And I'm not even sorry. I'm an awful awful entertainer. Can I go that way? I think I can. Yes. Mm -mm -mm -mm. I should probably make some poison rags for in case I meet more humans that I want to kill. Because my sword does bleeding and if they're poison and bleeding at the same time they tend to die oh hi oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy oh boy this might be it folks because uh, I'll out of stamina Oof. <laughs> yeah I'm not even thinking about fighting I'm running away bye Shut down my lantern to be harder to spot. Can you see me? Okay, he's still following me. Slowly. Man, it's working. <laughs> it worked. You dumbass. Okay, I definitely need to sleep. You want some of it too? Ask your friend if it was a good idea. Oh, I missed my, my counter. God damn it. Hi. You know, it was a joke, right? Okay, thanks. I wish I had a better lantern. Uh, I'm gonna see in the store if I can buy one. Yo, man. Why did you lose more than half your health? Oh, shit. Why? Damn. Good surprises all the time. I think I can do them though. In a non sexual manner. Okay, okay, okay. I can't. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. <sighs> Nothing but adventures. I wonder what it is they attack to lose health like this. Maybe this guy? Probably not. Okay, so not that I'm complaining, but I'm wet. I'm out of stamina, burnt as f and out of health as well. And I don't know if I'm going the right direction. I'm not. 
okay, okay. That's all swell. I think I'm gonna have to camp. Oh man, another dude right here. Okay, gonna go slowly, get back to town. Maybe eventually get there during the day so that we can hear the other version of the song. Oh boy, who's winning? Who's winning? Should we take bets? Can't even see what's going on. But he's angry. Yeah, man. You do your thing. Oh, if I find a corpse, maybe I can loot them. I'm gonna be an ass. I have more than one lantern, right? No, I don't. I'm not gonna be an ass. Because I could have thrown a lantern in there. Whoa, whoa! What's what's the music saying? It's saying it's combat again. I don't know what I picked up. I don't care. I'm leaving. Bye! The rarest drop in the game. The Pearl Burn Mask. I'm gonna leave it at that. Yes, I'm gonna be out soon. There's a boat right here. Okay, okay. Gotta be careful not to fall in the lake, because it's, well, not the lake, but the poisonous marsh waters. And. Easy peasy, no problem. Never been better. Having a jolly good time. Ofat's gonna be happy. He's gonna be teaching me a skill that I can't use because I have no mana. And that's gonna be it. Yo! You've done great things. Thank you, man. Oh, so he did not teach me this kill. Oh, that's the mo at the moment I officially join. I think. Do I need that simple bow? I can. I guess I can sell it. Now I know what I picked up. Okay, so one merchant, please. One merchant coming right up. There he is. Greetings, friend. I could want those boots. Definitely better than what I have. Ooh. I have to buy that. Good old poutine. Just for the principle of it, I have to buy it. Finally found a tripwire trap. Oh, I got some meat that I need to sell. I guess I'm gonna sell that one. Oh, all of my meat is about to go bad. Fine, I'll eat fish. Four heart attacks? Yeah, that's about it. That's adventuring, right? Heart attacks are cool. Okay, your swords suck and your bow suck. Why could you hit me so hard? Because we cheat. Okay. I'm thirsty. Yeah, that's me. Thirsty boy. There you go. I should I should find the well. There it is. It's always been weird to me that um, the wells are square. If they were circular, I think I'd see them better. I'm sure I'm not the only one. Oh well, I don't think that's one thing we're gonna ever change now. Is there something you need? 
There's so much good stuff in there. All better than what I can afford. But yeah, it's there. I should read my recipes. There we go. I got poutine. I got poutine. If you don't know what poutine is, this is sad. Okay, I need to rest now. And then I'm gonna go talk to my pal, Cardinal Bolamac. Once again, I dodge for no reason. Yo! Hey there! What Our a room. stay? Here's your money. Hey, there we go. Yes. And once we wake up, we will have the day version of the song. Which should be starting pretty soon anyway. Four hours of sleep. For our three hours of repairing, we'll wake up right in the middle of the day, and they'll think, "Oh, Guillaume, you're so lazy. You sleep all the time." Go see our pal, the Cardinal. And I think that I will have to call it a day after that. And you will have seen me officially join the holy mission without dying in my first Start of a playthrough. I have in called on a lot. He no, man. has been watching you. Okay. Now I can go talk to him. Yo, dudes. That's the right direction for the altar, right? I don't recall. Yes, it is. Ain't that convenient being able to talk to your god and he just replies back? Let's make a joke about it. How do you do it? Is there a sorcerer hiding inside the altar? Ha! Do you wish to check for yourself? Totally solid. If this is a trick, very impressive. Indeed. I assure you, I'm the genuine article. No tricks here. Do you think I have a place in the holy I mission? Sense a certain potential in you, waiting to be forged into something stronger. All right. Always remember the three pillars of our cause. I will. Will you cast aside all the ties that bind you and live your life for the good of all of God's people? Ah, you're thinking. Good. Alright, that's good for me. And I am done. officially a religious sealer. <laughs> I shall grant you the power to bind light to your weapon. Hmm. I think I'm, I would unlock mana because I really like using those spells that empower you and instead of being direct damage. Am I gonna continue this 
uh, this playthrough? That's a good question. I guess, yeah, for the next stream, I could continue from this point on and eventually try and get to the point where I kick some serious ass or, or die trying and cry miserably. I guess the longer I would play, the more attached I would be and the harder it would be if I ever die permanently. So yeah, that could be a good idea. To narrow my focus to any precise place or person reminds me to events going on everywhere else. Please, listen. There I am! It's done! I am the dude working for Elat with a good little song. It's all joyous. There we go. Alright, so this is gonna be it for, for me today. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, everyone, for uh, tuning in and checking the game. If if this is the first time you ever hear about Outward, um, I know that this has been a polarizing title. Not all reviews are good, and I'm okay with that. But if you've always felt like RPGs were kind of giving you too much and not letting you take it on your own means, I think Outward might be a good game for you. And if not, well, ask for a refund. That's fine. Thanks again for watching. Bye-bye.